Welcome friends, thank you for joining me today. I've been out in the garden early this morning picking greens. I've got a big tub full of Swiss chard, which I absolutely love. And then another container full of mustard and um, turnip greens. So I'm gonna be cooking these up today. I've got them all washed. I'm gonna go through the whole process from picking to washing to cooking. And you all know I love my Our State magazine. And I was looking through some of these in March, 2022. There's a great recipe for cooking on page 54, the sauteed greens with applewood smoked bacon. So I'm gonna cook these, all of these greens using this recipe. It sounds so good. It's very easy. I'll show you how step-by-step step, to make the best greens you've ever tasted. So let's get cooking. So this morning I started picking my greens. This is actually the third picking this spring of these beautiful turnips, mustard, and Swiss chard. They're easy to grow and they are so delicious and healthy. So make sure you stay to the end to see the taste testing. But the first step is you have got to really wash the greens and triple wash, sometimes washing them four or five times, but you gotta get all the bugs and all the sand and dirt off of the um, leaves. So what I do is fill up this big gray tub and I'll just keep washing until the water is clear. So I dump that out and I start again with a new batch. So it's very important to wash your greens. The next step was in a big stock pot, I've added two cups of water, got it on a kind of medium high heat, and we're going to start cooking these washed um, mustard and turnip greens. I did those first and then I did the Swiss chard second. So you just pack them down into your big stock pot and bring that to a bowl and just let these simmer for about 20 minutes. Okay, all the greens are in a pot. I'm just pushing them down and start the cooking process, put on the lid. And after about 20 minutes, I'm going to take the greens out of the water and I'm gonna strain um, those with a colander and just um, throw out that water. We're gonna be using chicken broth to season these greens with. Now, while the greens are cooking, I have five strips of smoked applewood bacon that cut into bite-sized pieces, and I have got them in the bottom of the stock pot, and I'm just going to crisp these up. I'm going to let them get nice and brown and crisp, and then I'm going to take them out and drain them on a paper towel. Now, the recipe calls for one medium onion, and you finely chop it, and we're going to saute that onion in the drippings in the bottom of this pan. So here is the onion chopped. I'm just gonna saute this until it's nice and translucent. Then I'm gonna add the bacon back into the pot and then we're gonna add in the chicken broth. Okay, I'm gonna add that chicken broth in and then I'm just going to stir the bottom of that pot to get all those little bits and pieces of flavor incorporated into the chicken broth. Then we're gonna add the greens back in. After I've scraped that pot really well, that is so much flavor down there, you don't wanna lose that. And then I'm going to put the drained um, greens back in the pot. Now, the recipe called for two cups of chicken broth. But after stirring it, I went ahead and added one more cup. So that's a total of three cups of chicken broth. Now it's time for the seasoning and we're gonna be adding a half a teaspoon of salt, black pepper to taste, and one teaspoon of sugar. I'm gonna give this a good stir and then cut the heat down to low and let it simmer with a lid on for 30 minutes. That's all there is to it, delicious mustard and turnip greens. And I use the same recipe for the Swiss chard. 
All right, let's give this recipe a try. Of course, you, you have to fry some cornbread if you're gonna have mustard and turnip greens. So I fried up some cornbread and I wanna taste these. I love mustard, it's my favorite. Oh, mm. these are so good. That applewood smoked bacon, oh, that just makes it. This is my new go-to recipe for greens, any kind of greens. This flavor with the onion and the bacon would be good in collards. I did it with my Swiss chard. It might even make kale taste good. This is excellent. Now, you gotta have some liquid in the bottom. That's the pot liquor, because you gotta take your cornbread and dip it down in that pot liquor. Oh, this is so good, y'all. Excellent recipe. Again, from the Our State Magazine, celebrating North Carolina. Y'all need to get that magazine. It has some great recipes in it. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna eat my lunch. Mmm, so good. Thanks for watching. Have a blessed day.